All right, so Kershaw just sent me a nice new blade. Let's take a look at it. Oh, and as a way of uh, preview, I just got this work sharp knife and tool sharpener. I have not even opened it yet, but I'm going to be using that, I hope, pretty soon. So here's the knife that the Kershaw people sent me. And it is the 1780CB Rake. And the good thing about this, it is made in the USA. Let's take a look at it. Okay, and like I said, it's made in the USA, and it is what I'd call a stout knife, so it's got some weight to it. It is a flipper knife with the assisted opening, and it also has the thumb studs, which are kind of useless for me because they sit below the top of the scales, so I would have to grind all this G10 out of there to be able to use the thumb studs, so they're no good to me. And I'm not going to grind this G10 today, so the, the uh, flipper opening is really good for me. It's got G10, and it's got some really good traction on the G10 scales, I like that. And this is a good uh, example of what they should do with their pocket clips. It's a nice, it's a simple pocket clip. It's three-way, you can put it down here, up here, or on the left side up there so it's a three-way pocket clip that flipper really works good it's got huge liners and it is a liner lock and consequently the weight on this is five and a half ounces now most place I've, places I've looked it says 4.8 ounces but this one just happens to be 5.5 ounces does have a lanyard hole pretty good lanyard hole now the blade is made of two different type types of metal the uh, the edge is actually G2 or not G2 uh, D2 you can see the D2 marking on that it's also a galleon or a gay uh, galleon design and the other markings are, it's got kind of a diamond uh, pattern in there in a circle. And you can see one side is the, well it's got two things there, one for the uh, D2 and the other for the Sandvik. The top of this thing is Sandvik 14C28N and you can see the Kershaw logo, Speed Safe, made in the USA. And there's a close up of the traction on the G10 which is really nice. It also has some really good traction notches on the top of it. Now these are probably the best traction notches I've had from Kershaw in quite a while. But those are the only traction notches anywhere on the knife. It's got them right there and on the liner lock but nowhere else. So the blade is right at three and a half inches. Three and a half inches sharp. Overall length is just over, just a little bit over eight inches. And you can see the welding pattern on the blade. It's, it's actually two pieces or two different types of metal welded. And I think that's copper between them to hold it together. I'm not sure about that. Uh, it's got a stone washed finished and it pretty much a flat grind. Let's do a little cut on this thing, see how sharp it is. Now this thing came what I consider really sharp. Probably the sharpest knife I've got from Kershaw in a while and usually their knives are pretty sharp. That thing just goes, it's almost a push cut. I can do a push, let's see if I can do a push on this. Not there. That is not bad for a Kershaw blade. I would say I'd give that a 10 on the sharpness rating scale. And that's actually it for this knife. That is a Kershaw, the rake. I really like this one. 
It's a bit hefty. It feels really good. I like that curve. It fits well. And I will be putting this in my rotation because I really like this one. And I'm also going to learn how to use that uh, work sharp knife sharpener. And that deserves some cowbell. Knuckle bomb.